Okay, so let's have this problem. So how many terms in this arithmetic sequence? So using this formula for the arithmetic sequence and this a sub n is the last term. So since the last term is positive 53, then a sub 1, that's the first term. So we have positive 5, then n is the number of terms. Since we're looking for the number of terms, so n is the unknown and d is the common difference. So we can find d using this formula that a sub 2 minus a sub 1 or the second term that's 9 minus the first term that's 5. So the common difference is positive 4. So to solve now for n from this formula, so we have a sub n, that's positive 53, then a sub 1, that's positive 5, then plus n minus 1 times the common difference, positive 4. Then to solve for n, so transpose this positive 5. So this becomes negative 5, then equals, multiply this n times 4, that's 4n, and negative 1 times 4, that's negative 4. Then this 53 minus 5, that's 48, then equals, 4n minus 4. Then transpose this negative 4. So we have 48 plus 4 then equals 4n and 48 plus 4. That's 52 equals 4n. Then to solve for n, divide both sides by positive 4. So n equals this 52 divided by 4. So we have 52 divided by 4 equals, so n is 13. So the sequence has 13 terms. Then for this problem, so what is the 20th term in the sequence? So from this formula, a sub n, that's the last term. Since we're looking for the 20th term, so therefore the last term is the 20th term. That's a sub 20. Then for a sub 1, that's the first term. So 7. Then n is the number of terms. Since the 20th term, so therefore n is equal to 20 and for the common difference so a sub 2 minus a sub 1 the second term is 4 minus the first term that's 7 so the common difference is negative 3 so to find now the 20 term so that's a sub 20 then equals a sub 1 that's 7, then plus n is 20, then minus 1 times the common difference, that's negative 3. Then simplify, so we have 7, then plus this 20 minus 1, that's 19, then times negative 3. Then we have 7, then plus this 19 times negative 3, so 19 times negative 3 equals, that's negative 57, so plus negative 57, so a sub 20 equals 7 plus negative 57 is negative 50.
So the 28th term is negative 50. Then for this problem, so find the 9th term in the sequence if the 3rd term is 12 and the 6th term is 24. So we have the 9th term, the 3rd term, and the 6th term. Then the 9th term is the unknown. The 3rd term is positive 12 and the 6th term is positive 24. So observe that from this even, there is no first term or a sub 1. So in this case, we're going to use this formula. That's a sub m, then plus n minus m. And take note that n is greater than m. So from this given, we have a sub 3 and a sub 6. Since 6 is greater than 3, so therefore n is equal to 6 and m is equal to 3. Then to find the common difference, so since there's no common difference, so we need to solve first for the common difference. So from this formula, so we have a sub n. So since 6 is n, so therefore this 24 is a sub n and this 12 is a sub m. So a sub n is 24 then equals a sub m that's 12, then plus n, n is positive 6, then minus m, m is 3 times the common difference. Then to solve for d, so transpose this positive 12, so we have 24 minus 12, then equals 6 minus 3, that's 3d. Then 24 minus 12, that's positive 12, then equals 3 times the common difference. And to solve for D, divide both sides by 3. So therefore, the common difference is positive 4. So since we have now the common difference, so we can solve now for the 9 terms. So solve for the 9 term, that's a sub 9. So we have two options to solve for the 9 term. Since 9 is greater than 3, so we can use this option that n is equal to 9 and 3 is equal to m. And also we can use this condition because 9 is greater than 6. So in this case, 9 is n and 6 is m. So again, these are the two options to solve for a sub 9. So if we're going to use this option, so this a sub 9 is a sub n and this a sub 6 is a sub m. So to solve now for the 9 term, so we have this a sub n, that's a sub 9, then equals a sub m, that's 24, then plus n is 9, then minus m, that's 6, then times the common difference is positive 4. So we have now 24, then plus 9 minus 6, that's 3, then times 4, then we have 24, then plus 3 times 4, that's 12. So therefore, the 9 term is positive 36. So this is now the 9 term of this sequence. Then for this problem, so to find the sum of the arithmetic series, 
So in finding the sum of the arithmetic series, this is the formula. So n is the number of terms. A sub 1 is the first term and A sub n, thus the last term. So from this given, A sub n, that's 73. A sub 1, that's the first term. So we have positive 3 and n, that's the number of terms. Since there is no given number of terms, so we need to solve first for n. So to solve for n, and using this formula that a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Then from this given, to find the common difference, so that's D, so that's the second term, that's 8, minus the first term, 3, so the common difference is positive 5. So to solve now for N, so we have A sub N, that's 73, then equals A sub 1 is 3 plus N, minus 1 times the common difference, that's positive 5. Then to solve for n, so transpose this positive 3, so we have 73 minus 3, then equals, multiply these numbers, so n times 5, that's 5n, then negative 1 times 5, that's negative 5. Then this 73 minus 3, that's 70, and transpose this negative 5, so that becomes positive 5, then equals 5n. Then this 70 plus 5, that's 75, equals 5n. To solve for n, divide both sides by 5. So n equals, so this 75 divided by 5, so we have 75 divided by 5 equals, that's 15. So the number of terms is 15. So since we have now the number of terms, so we can find now the sum of this arithmetic series. So we have the sum of numbers equals n, that's 15. Then over 2 times a sub 1 is 3 plus a sub n that's 73. Then to simplify, so we have 15 over 2 times, so 3 plus 73 that's 76. So to find out the sum of these numbers, so we have this 15 divided by 2 equals then times 76 equals so that's 570 so the sum of this arithmetic series is 570 then for this problem so to find the sum of the first 20 first terms in the sequence so from this formula so a sub n that's the last term. Since there's no given last term, so therefore, we need to find the 21st term. So that's a sub 21. Then the first term is 18. And n, since we're looking for the sum of the first 21st terms, so therefore, n is equal to 21. Then for the common difference, so a sub 2, that's 15, minus a sub 1, that's 18. So the common difference is negative 3. So first, we need to find the last term. So solve for a sub n. So from this formula, that a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So a sub n equals a sub 1, that's 18, 
din plus n, that's 21 minus 1 times the common difference, that's negative 3. So we have now 18 plus, so 21 minus 1, that's 20 times negative 3. Then we have 18 in plus, 20 times negative 3, that's negative 60. So therefore, the last term, that's a sub n or a sub 21. So 18 minus 60. So we have 18 minus 60 equals, that's negative 42. So the last term is negative 42. So this time to find now the sum of this uh, sequence. So the sum of numbers equals n. n is 21 over 2 times a sub 1, that's 18, plus a sub n, that's negative 42. Then simplify, so we have 21 over 2 times, so this 18 minus 42. So we have 18 minus 42 equals, that's negative 24. So therefore, the sum of these numbers, so we have 21 divided by 2 equals 10 times negative 24 equals, that's negative 252. So we have negative 252.